What's up, cool cats and kittens? It is Uncle Mad in the back, Nephew P. Don't change that dial. It's not Marvel Monday. I know that's what you're used to seeing with Nephew P. It'd be really weird if we were filming Marvel Monday in the car because <laughs> I not really, I'm sure we could put a movie up on an iPad or something like that, but that would be bad for me because I don't want to be a distracted driver. What we're doing today in this video is me and Nephew P are on our way down to Nissan Stadium to see Nashville Soccer Club take on the New England Revolution. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Didn't wasn't able to go to soccer games at Nissan Stadium for like six months after the first home game back in February. And now I feel like I've been to like 10 in like the last nine days. Don't do the math on that. It probably won't check out. But nonetheless, we're back to Nissan Stadium for another soccer game. Hopefully there is a little bit of a flashing lightning in the air. There are some calls for potential not so great weather over the next couple hours or so but it's actually kind of a miracle nashville sc has played as many home games as they had since the restart without having a crazy weather delay or something since the fans have come back to the stadium but who knows we'll see what happens we're hoping for the best but we'll have fun one way or the other right parker yeah, I'm doing fingers crossed. parker has got his fingers crossed to hopefully make sure that we get through this game with no weather issues I am prepared to put Parker over my head if I need to, to protect myself from the rain if it comes in, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Any thoughts, Parker, that you want to add before we wrap up the intro? Uh, what team are we rooting for? We are for Nashville Soccer Club, the boys in gold. Yeah. That's right. Good. Got to make sure he knows who we're cheering for so he doesn't cheer for the wrong team. <laughs> I've got him well-trained on Manchester United. His parents have him well-trained on the Florida Gators for them. I'm not a Gators fan. They are. So... They've got him good on that. We need to work a little bit on the Titans, probably. Yeah, like you need to like the Titans a lot. I like the Dolphins as well. The Dolphins? Who told you to like the Dolphins? Daddy. <sighs> also like I can't argue with Daddy. All right, so we're headed to Nissan Stadium. He's got his fingers crossed. I've got me, my fingers crossed. You cross your fingers. One way or the other, if something happens, we'll improvise and figure out something else fun to do. Maybe I'll take Parker down Broadway, but we'll go to a honky tonk. You wanna go to a honky tonk? What's that? It's a fun place where you go dance with your friends. Yeah. Yep, all right, maybe. We'll go to Kid Rocks, maybe. <laughs> maybe we'll go to Honky Tonk Central. Stage, there's so many good choices and they're all safe right now. One way or the other, you're along for the journey, so stick with us, we're gonna have some fun. Okay, so here is the situation. We have just got to the stadium. Mm -hmm. uh, about halfway down the road getting here, it started absolutely pouring down rain. It has let, let up now, but there's still lightning thunder in the area. The team officially announced that they are in a weather delay for the game. So rather than go into the stadium, fight through the rain, because right now they're not even letting anybody go into the seats right now, we're just going to chill in the car, hang out for a little bit see what updates we get and you know if the lightning advisory gets passed here pretty soon we'll go in see what's going on Just may hopefully maybe see some of the game but if not we'll improvise we'll figure out something else to do yeah i might even let nephew p choose but probably not <laughs> but that's the update for now more to come okay so just had an update come across twitter the kickoff is tentatively set for 8.52 Central Time. What's your bedtime, Parker? Um. So this game is scheduled to kick off only eight minutes before Parker's usual bedtime. So I'm gonna make an executive decision and say that's probably gonna be a little late for him. I gotta work in the morning too, so. Yeah, it's the weekend. I, I work on Saturdays, believe me, I know. On Sundays, you don't? Uh, I ref sometimes, but most Sundays I don't. But we're going to still find some content for this episode of the video because we don't want to leave you hanging. Nephew P is already falling asleep back there, so I can tell you for sure this would not have gone well if we tried to stretch this out to the game. We're going to figure something else out to do. You hungry? You're killing me. Right, well, I'm going to eat because I am hungry. I don't know, that's what we're gonna figure out. We're gonna go eat somewhere. Executive decision, I just made it. We're gonna go do an impromptu, 
to restaurant review. I don't know where we're gonna go. We're gonna go somewhere though. He said he's not hungry, so he's just gonna watch me eat, but we'll figure it out from there. More to come. Quick note, I forgot to mention while we were still at the stadium. I think all the people that like uh, take the money for the parking lot had must have scattered because of the rain, because we just pulled right in the parking lot. Nobody was there. We parked, so at least we weren't out money. If I'd paid the money to park, we probably would have stuck it out and gone to at least part of the game. So that was nice. But we've made a veto. We're going to what I believe is one of the most underrated pizza chains. I don't know if these exist outside of Tennessee or not, but there's a few in Tennessee for sure. We're going to Sir Pizza. He didn't even know. He didn't even know what he's in for. It's gonna be so good. All right, so I stand corrected. This might not be a Sir Pizza. This might just be a plain pizza. I don't know. Let's go inside and find out. All right, Nephew P, what'd you go with the drink there? That's not a Diet Coke. <laughs> you got a Dr. Pepper. Yeah. How is the Dr. Pepper? Good. Scale of one to 10. Thousand. Thousand, wow, that is a good Dr. Pepper. I went with water. As per usual, it's about uh, four. Food to come. All right, so here's what we went with. The eight inch King's Feast. I love how Sir Pizza the topping just goes all the way to the edge. There's just no room left. You know, usually you got a Pizza Hut or Papa John's, you get like two pepperonis on your pizza. This has got pepperoni, sausage, bacon. bacon. I think there's some hamburger meat, yes. all the meats. This is basically just got all the meats. What do you think? Looking good? All right, we're gonna dig in. All right, Sir Pizza, bone apple teas. That is so good. <laughs> I love it. Caked in toppings. Just got toppings everywhere. <coughs> so good. Mm, it's delicious. Give me a camera. Let's get yours. All right, that was my review. Absolutely delicious. Nephew P time. See what you think. Delicious. Mm, delicious. No lie, if there's a Sir Pizza near you, order some tonight. It is the bomb. I mean, look at that. Like, there's just so much toppings. You don't get that in normal pizza places. I can't even see the pizza underneath all the toppings. I love it. There's even bacon. Bacon is delicious. Today we had pizza for lunch. You got two pizza? <laughs> <laughs> you got pizza twice today? <coughs> I feel like you tricked me on that one. That means I had four pizzas today. Uh, you can never have too much pizza. I wish the Skipper Raid was in here so that we could watch the game. I know, me too. Stupid rain. But we still had fun at the pizza place, right? Yeah. Yep, so fortunately the rain got the better of our original plan for tonight. But I think Sir Pizza was a pretty good backup plan, second option. Parker, what's your... Uh, what grade would you give Sir Pizza? Past a, Past a trillion. So if you gave it a grade, like a school grade, what would you give it? Uh, what? 20. 20 is a school grade. I meant like a A, B, C, or D, or F. Uh, uh, a. a, I would agree. I think that was an A. Very, very good. I honestly probably could have eaten a whole nother one of those little small pizzas by myself. That means amazing. Yeah, I was trying not to be a big old fat so, but totally, absolutely could have eaten a whole nother one of those small pizzas by myself. But unfortunately, with the rain out of the game, or at least the rain out for us of the game, and basically it's bedtime for me and Parker both pretty much, that's pretty much wrapping up the video today bummer but we'll definitely try to go again because we would have had a lot of fun and we will have a lot of fun when we go back but do you know what you need to do to make sure you are able to see the video whatever me and parker do get to go to a soccer game and make a vlog about it do you know parker subscribe, subscribe to the channel what else should they do to make sure they don't miss it even if they're subscribed Nope. Well, yeah, I do give it a thumbs up, but what I was looking for was hit the bell so that you get all the notifications. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, but you didn't, so I beat you to it. I win. 
every time we post a video. Get that notification so you never miss any of the fun. He already said give it a thumbs up. Leave us some comments down below. What are some other pizza places that you like? Have you ever had Sir Pizza before? What did you think if you did? Have you been to one of the like 300 Nashville SC games that have experienced weather delays? Because I feel like I've been to all of them and I don't know why Nashville SC is so cursed when it comes to weather delays, but it seems like they are. Oh well. We live to fight another day. Parker, any final thoughts? What? He's eating ice. I got it. I got it on the second thought. Okay, then. I guess the only thing left to do is to do what me and Parker did all day since we pretty much just stayed in the car and didn't go near anybody else. But don't stand so close to me. Yay! Yay. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.